Think back to the person you were in high school, teenage, as much as you can remember of that. Well, Jane Simpkins remembers it all because it's in a book. All the journal entries that she wrote and shared with the Galesburg Register Mail every week all through her years at Galesburg High School. Jane Simpkins put it all together in Streakin', the real-life high school adventures of a not so plain Jane Streakin', as in uh, Silver Streaks. Yep. Yes. Yes. Of Galesburg. Our mascot. Your mascot. Yes. You did not go running through public areas naked. Not me. That's not me. Yeah, I that did, was not, nope. I read through most of, your, most of your entries and I didn't see that nope, one. Nope, that one didn't make this edition. So yeah. how did the dedication you must have had as a 15 year old yes. to, to, to agree to this? Yeah. A reporter approached you, how did it come about? Yes, I was at my brother's baseball game. A reporter knew that um, I was going to be entering my freshman year of high school. And he approached me and I was with my mom. He was like, hey, I have this idea I wanna follow and document. Um, a high school student's experience starting from, you know, freshman orientation all the way till they graduate high school. So I was like, sure, I don't know what that's going to entail, but let's take a shot. And that's how this book came to be. Did he know you were such a fine writer? Because you really are. Thank you. It's lovely. I Thank mean, you're, you. you're funny and articulate and you, you really bring your words to life. Did, were you a writer then at that yes, age? Yes, so I actually won the Illinois Young Author Award when I was in fifth grade. Oh my. Um, I wrote a book called Larry Lint about a piece of lint that would, you know, you'd follow him along in his adventures. And so <laughs> I think he kind of knew about that and I did some writing samples for the Register Mail that they could look and make sure that oh, I could write. Okay, um, you yeah. were on their radar. Correct, okay. yes. And um, you must have been a real, I'm, I'm a different mature kind of kid to I mean, do this. You know, I loved Golden Girls growing up, so. Ah, I mean, great. and yeah. you know, they're popular again. Oh, Everybody's watching. I have a girls. coffee mug with them. Oh yeah. See? Yeah. All right. Let's look at uh, pictures of the young and cute, um, still cute, but <laughs> like as a child. Oh yeah. Is this how you looked when you first started? This freshman this year, right? This is fifteen. Yes. Yes. So that's the girl they approached and said, "We want to publish. Put in the paper." And you said, "Unedited." You didn't. They yep. didn't edit your stuff. No, they just wrote the headlines. And so we're, I mean, I'm reading some of these. Now, you didn't give away any big secrets. Although you talked a lot about teachers and your friends and sure. different events. And in some cases, you're critical of your yeah. school and your, yeah. and your surroundings like a kid would be. Mm -hmm. but, you're, but overall, you're so positive. Yes. And that was that, were you trying to portray a certain mood when you wrote? Yeah. You know, I never wanted anybody to leave reading one of my articles feeling negative or down. I just wanted them to, like, laugh if they could. Mm -hmm. And that's how I deal with a lot of, like, if I m make a mistake or anything, I like to just find the humor in it when I can. And I try to reflect that in my articles. Well, now you, you and your husband and your young daughter mm -hmm. and your dogs just yeah. moved back to Galesburg. Yes, we're back. You're back yes. at, at, at home. And there you were. That's before your daughter was born. Correct. Uh, give us the name of your daughter. Bodhi. Bodhi. That yeah. uh, that is so sweet. Is it yeah. your special significance? I mean, no, no, no. It was one of Patrick Swayze's characters in a movie. Okay. So you know. <laughs> sure. Yeah. So that fits. Yeah. So back in Galesburg, and th but the the reason for this book yes. that you put all of the, you, this was your idea yeah. to put all of your entries from all the high school mm -hmm. days in this book. Yes. To, to tell the tale of what? What did you want to impart here? So I always would hear from people who uh, would had read my articles, adults saying this was a really great way for them to, you know, open up the newspaper, newspaper in the morning, read something positive and have a laugh. Every week for four years, yes. this kid wrote these articles. Yeah. And uh, people had to, you had to have fans. You had to have groupies, <laughs> groupies, Jane groupies. Yeah, yeah, you could call them that. I'll call them that, yeah. Uh -huh. That's right, yeah. Well, the real life high school adventures of a not so plain, what do you mean by not so plain, Jane? You know, I liked, you know, Jane growing up, I wasn't, I didn't really feel, I felt like it was too adult for me. I didn't know any other Janes. Um, so the plain part, I, you know, it's, I'm not so plain. You know? So um, you had to name your own daughter Bodie. That's right. That's exactly right. That's so cute. Yes. So do you do writing now? What do you do for a living now? So I actually work in marketing and natural resource conservation, and I do a lot of creative writing still. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this is, you know, uh, I asked here at the be beginning and in introducing you mm -hmm. for, for our viewers to be thinking about their high school days. You yeah. really kind of want us to, to, to maybe do a little reminiscing of our yeah. own when we read your entries here. Yeah. And you know what? It's great for kids who are about to enter high school. I hear a lot of parents saying they're buying this book for their kids so that they can kind of, you know, feel more comfortable and familiar with what are, they're about to get into. Even though it was, what, 15 years ago or? Uh, 12. 12. Yeah. Nothing changes that much. No. <laughs> a little bit. You'll see some things, yeah. some references in here. Yeah. Like, oh, that was so 2006. Yeah, right? <laughs> that's right. That's right. So uh, where can we get the book, Jane? So if you want to shop local, I know you're all about that here. You can yes. go to Wordsmith Bookshop on Main Street in Galesburg. Yay, um, Wordsmith. Or you can find it online anywhere books are sold. Jane, congrats on what you've done here, because first of all, th doing that through all of high school is an amazing feat. And then that it's, it's, it's in here for all time, yeah. for, for Bodie to read someday, and she'll say, wow, Mom, that was the old days. That's right. Right? Yeah. James, good, good meeting you today. You too. Thank C you. Congrats on this. Thank you.